Welcome back, everybody. Hope everybody enjoyed the UFC fights uh, this weekend. I've been telling you, Raul Rosas Jr. is the truth from day one. I told you, check out this video uh, where we did 17 hobby boxes um, and how stoked I was to pull a signature of him. Um, him and Tatsura, of course, my two probably favorite fighters, her, uh, them and Aaron. Um, but today, I am so excited because uh, I love this product. I love um, the Midnight UFC product. It, these cards are just like so sexy. And today we're going to do a full review. And we're going to go over what you want to look for. And we're going to rip a whole case, a whole sealed case. Um, so stay tuned. Let's get ripping UFC Midnight. Very, very pretty cards. Let's see if we can lock out and hit a few bangers. Okay, so we've got the Mound of Flames in front of us. The Mound of Frames. Okay, so there's base cards in here, obviously. But let's go through kind of the more of the rare parallel cards um, that you want to hit out of these, right? So there's After Hours, uh, Constellations, uh, the Glimmer, the Horror, uh, Lunatide, Night Stars, um, a lot of Relic autographs um, as well, uh, One and Onlys, Stroke of Midnights, um, and then Twilight, and there are numbered varieties of those as well. So that's who we're, we're, we're kind of looking for. Um, you do get three autographs per box. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. How many do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 total. 12 total. These are beautiful boxes. And I think Tops is actually going to be doing a, I want to say an NBA version um, of, of the Midnight Series, which, you know, NBA is my number one sport. Um, I am all over that product if it's released. Just look how kind of high quality these this product is, man. Like... Even the box, the boxes, just very nice, very, very nice packaging, uh, to say the least. So let's go, you guys. Box one. Um, let's see how we do. I think that I've watched a few unboxings of this product before, and I want to say the autographs are in the middle in the middle somewhere so we'll kind of sweat those to the end okay here we go all right so the first one we've got malcolm gordon rookie card and then um let's yep go over to our numbered here julia pena um there i'm a fan of hers um and that is to a 199 on the julia pena one of the goats himself, GSP. And that is 21 out of 25. Look how just look how pretty these cards are. All right, we hit a midnight. A midnight of uh, Maria Gonzalez. Midnight there. Okay. Now let's get into our. Oh, there's a thicky, so that's going to be a patch. All right, let's see. First order. First order. Let's see who we get here. How about a little Chael Sonnen? One of the biggest S talkers in the league. <laughs> Sticker order, but still very beautiful there. Uh, Chael Sonnen. You're either a fan of his or you're not. Okay, here we go. Second order. Wow, that's a Rashad Evans to 12. Here we go. Rashad Evans to 12. I was a big Rashad Evans fan. I liked him a lot. I really did. Rashad Evans to 12. All right, now let's see what our patch is. Come on, be a good one. Kobe Covington to 99. Uh, if you watch my video on the, uh, on the 17 tops hobby boxes um, that we did, I talked some smack about Colby. And I got a lot, I got a lot of heat about it. I got a lot of heat about it. Um, tune in, uh, 
go ahead and watch that video. One, it's super informative. I don't think there's a better tops um, video out there, to be honest, on on the product review. Um, but it's it's just kind of hilarious too about the amount the amount of hate that I got on it for for hating on 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 Covington. <laughs> I'm just a believer, like, like, look, you're going to S-talk a whole bunch in the UFC, right, to get the big fights. But when you get the big fights, you got to perform. You know, the only thing I like about Colby is he's a big believer and a big supporter of the U.S. Uh, military, the men and women that serve this country, uh, which is absolutely amazing. You know, so I love that side of Colby. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, yeah, he's... He's definitely no, uh, you know, Tim Kennedy, you know, or Pat Tillman, right? True American heroes there. I think Colby wants to be one, but I don't think so. Anyway, before I get flamed even more, I will stop is talking that man there, uh, and let's get into pack number two. Okay. All right, so we got a Junior Tuffer here, rookie card, Junior Tuffer. A big banger there and by that I mean he's got big punching power okay we've got a uh, Gabriel Miranda here rookie card uh, to 125 look at that mustache I love it Usman on the midnight there Kamaru the Nigerian nightmare himself and then our end card here is a the one and only Tom Aspinall. And that actually is a short print card. Um, and that's to 12. So that's that's not too bad. It's not too bad on the Tom. Okay. Now, let us see our autos and our patches. Okay. Let's see the first one here. Bantamweight. To 75, Irene Aldana at the strike of midnight to 75, Aldana, I'm a fan of hers, okay, this looks like a minutes, uh, Jens Pulver there on the midnight edition, a little bit of a mess on that one, hopefully we can make up for it here on our patch. And we got a, um, a Bennett at St. Dennis here, uh, non-numbered. Rookie card though, rookie card, very promising, very promising. Um, non-numbered, but a rookie card, a RPA, we'll take that, we'll take that. Okay. All right, let's go to box three. Uh, Tetsuro, uh, I think is fighting in the next card, which I'm super looking forward to. Super looking forward to. Again, these are just such a beautiful product. Such a beautiful product. And again, I tell all my viewers this, this is not the way to invest in sports cards. Um, don't buy sealed cases and expect a, um, you're going to get, you know, a good rate of return unless you like luck out and hit a one of one of like a huge player or, or SIG or something like that. All right. So we have the Iceman himself starting out there. Okay. Then we got a, um, the Polar Bear, Sergey to a 125. Oh, Jack Della Magna, uh, Madalena. I always mess his last name up. That guy is an absolute monster. Um, to 99, I'd love a signature of him. And here we go on the back card. There we go, Night Stars, Dust in the Diamond. Just had a very, uh, yeah, unfortunate. Um, I, he, you know, he was out of his league, guys. What can we say when he fought Khabib? Um, that guy is just, you know, you fight the pound for pound best fighter in the world. Um, it's going to make you look silly. And I think Dustin, unfortunately in that one, didn't really show any kind of flashes that 
That may be his last fight for Dustin. I don't, I, but, but I don't know. All right, flyweight here. Uh, this is Caitlin on the stroke of midnight, non-numbered. Here we go. Can we do better than the last one? There we go. There's a Holly Home there. Holly Home. And then our patch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who was I talking about, baby? Raul Rosses Jr. Love it. On the midnight. He's changed his sig a little bit. Glimmer graphs. Beautiful. Beautiful. Stoked about that one. Stoked about that one. I opened the video talking about him. 19 years old, you guys. 19 years old. He's going to be big. He is going to be big. I mean, he's already big, but I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There we go. We'll take a row. We'll take we'll take a row auto all day, every day. Right, let me just quickly organize these, and then we'll kind of do like our our top five um, at the at the end here. Signatures, signatures. Justin Tuffer on the base. Nigerian Nightmare on the Midnight. Tom Aspinall. Malcolm Gordon. Chael Sonnet. Night Stars. GSP. Pena. And Kobe. Okay. Okay. All right. Three down. Three down, nine to go. Three down, nine to go. Again, uh, you know, always helps me if you like, comment, subscribe. Um, the first unboxing of the of the top seventeen got a lot of views. Very appreciative. I know there's a lot of UFC fans out there. I'm I'm one too. Um, I'm a very crappy white belt, <laughs> but, I love, but I love uh, I love rolling. Okay, here we go. Ooh, Jeremiah Hill on the back there. Okay, all right. First one, Max Holloway. My gosh, what an amazing fight! His last fight. With the last 10 seconds, he's already winning and he just, you know, points down just to get in the middle and bang. You gotta love Max Holloway, man. All right, Alexander Volkanovsky, Australian, Hall of Fame bound for sure. Robert Whitaker, another Australian. There we go, back to back Australian. I'm from New Zealand, but I still love these guys. Um, also, Hall of Fame bound, in my opinion. And a midnight, we've got the one and only Hill. That one's not numbered. Okay, let's try to heat up here with some with the six. Although we did hit a row, but we do want some some numbers here. Okay, Tony Ferguson. There we go, the Madman himself, El Cuco. I saw a video of that dude. He's like in the airport, just doing press ups. That guy's a madman. Okay, here we go, Sig 2. Here we go, Cyril Gagne. That's to 12. There we go. Getting getting some good good low numbers. And then our patch is, oh, a Jeremiah Hill. There we go. Non-numbered. Are these game worn? No. Okay, non-game one. Alrighty. Cyril Gagne. And then we'll put 
that without other bases. Okay, four down. Here we go. I mean, the obvious rookie chase, guys, for at least this year is the nightmare, right? Diego Lopez. I'd love to get a signature of him, man. Talk about showing out in his last fight. He made a statement, man. He made a statement. The hype behind him is, is real, to say the least. One of the greatest fighters of all time, undoubtedly. Retired way too early, but, you know, I get it. He made a promise to his mom he wasn't going to fight again. So, um, you know, now, he, now he's just a coach. I'd love to see him come back, though. Okay, we got a Luna. Uh, Luana, I'm sorry here. Rookie card. Not the best. Michael Bisbing. How about that? <laughs> I actually love Bisbing announcing now. I really do. He's a great, I think he's a good, he's a really good announcer. That's a biz being one of one to um, the one and only, I should say. Um, and that's to 99. And on the back, on the midnight, we got a Night Stars. We got another Maria Gonzalez. Okay, come on. Let's see some, let's see some nice cigs here. Khabib's a good start. That, that may be good luck for us. There we go. There's Rob Font. Not really who I was looking for there. This looks like a, um, yep. A Shao Man. That's to 99. Beautiful signature, by the way. And then our patch is going to be a Roman uh, do uh, Dollars. I have seen a few of his fights though. Okay, so we're not doing too well on the patches so far. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. But hey, one card, one card our luck can change. Here's number six. We are almost halfway through. Almost halfway through. But yeah, like I was saying, if you like this content, please like, comment, subscribe. The channel's doing really well. We're about almost 15,000 subs. Um, and yeah, I just appreciate everybody's love and support out there. Um, and if you're ever interested, um, I do run a whatnot show almost every night on the weekdays and we do a lot of nba a lot of uh, football um, and a lot of baseball i don't really have the ufc followers yet yet right but i would absolutely love to start doing some ufc breaks okay so we got another luana here on the base rookie card Mackenzie Dern, big fan of hers. You don't want to get her on the ground. Talk about a submission expert there. Mackenzie Dern. Yair Rodriguez to 25 on the Luna Tide. That's relatively short print there. And another Tom Aspinall, this time base. So we've pulled two of his. One time base, one and only. Um, and the other was a 212. Okay. Here's where we really, we really got to start heating up on the signatures here. Santos. On the midnight signature. Oh yeah, baby. Well, at least I hit my two favorite fighters. Tatsura, I'm telling you. Invest in him. Invest in him. The kid's going to be a monster. And, and a Diego Lopez. We take all day, even though it's not numbered. Tatsuro and the Nightmare. He, that box took care of us. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
Whoa, thank you. I was getting worried, guys, that this case would really start, start skunking, you know. But Tetsuro, beautiful. Oh my gosh, if you... If you're relatively newer to the UFC, you know, you probably know the big names, right? Um, this is the rookie you want, without a doubt, is the nightmare. And just look at his last fight. What, what a statement he made. What a statement he made. Woof, okay, that pack was fire. That pack was fire. Uh, let me see. Where's my stands at? Oh, ouch. It's not a good sign that you don't have your stands ready. Okay. So we've pulled my two favorite fighters, and we've pulled the hottest rookie. You know what? We can actually get... Oh no, am I Kevin Garnett? Anything's possible. In case anybody cares, I'm a huge Boston Celtics fan. My Celtics are up 2-0 on the Mavs right now. I think it's our year, but I don't want to jinx us. So I will, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll kind of, I'll hush hush up on that one. <laughs> All right, y'all. What is this? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, box 7. Lucky number 7, maybe. Okay, Bueno. On the base. Ooh. I do see gold there. Not sure what that means in this, but that could be a big card. There we go. It's Khabib, this time to 125. Osborne, a, a, a promising rookie to 99. Ooh, and then a Midnight Constellations of Bruno and uh, the Lioness herself. In my opinion, the GOAT. The GOAT when it comes to um, and female fighters for, for, you know, obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. There are rumors, by the way, because I know somebody who trains with her, that she may be training for a little comeback. Maybe. 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 We'll see. We'll see. All right, we're going to sweat this gold one to the end here. All right, who we get? Ah, Dan Henderson. Good old Dan Henderson. One of the most vicious knockouts. Uh, and then we got another Roman. Wow, that's two back-to-back -back Romans. Back-to-back <laughs> -back Romans, y'all. Okay, but it can make up for it with this gold. Light heavyweight. Light heavyweight gold. Ryan Span. Ryan Span to five. Ryan Span to five. Ryan Span to five. Okay. Is that on card or sticker? Sticker. That's the one thing I don't like. The only you know minor criticism I have of the mid of uh, the midnight pro um, product uh, is um, they're all sticker orders. I believe. I believe. Okay, so could have done better on the on the on the low numbered one there, unfortunately. Oh, butchered that that opening. Okay. 
Okay, we got five left. We really need a good RPA. A rookie patch order. To kind of save us, save us a little bit on this box. Okay, Fernando there on the rookie card. Promising rook. I think I see the patch. And it may be the sugar show. Uh, Bruno Ferreira there on the rookie card on the midnight. Pretty happy about that. Oh, this is cool. Okay, Constellations. Uh, Cody Galbrandt and TJ Dillashaw to 99. And then back to back. Wei Li and Zhao Nan. Okay, I think I see Sugar Show patch here, so that 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 would make me happy. Oh, Jeremiah Wells, I'm a big fan of this guy. I've got a lot of his rookie cards. Um, that's non-numbered, but still, for me, that's that's a good sig. Kaikara France, my fellow Kiwi, Kaikara France, happy about that too. This is Shug, I know it is. Yep, Sugar Show. There we go. A little bit of the Sugar Show. Wish it was numbered, but uh, I will definitely take take that. I'll take that on the relic over the Roman any day. More case up, Sugar. More case him up. His podcast's hilarious, by the way. I really wish I had my fat sleeves, but no, I'll case it later. I'll case it later, y'all. Yo, yo. I'll case it later. I have a whole bunch of fat sleeves for my breaks, and um, actually, I'm going to try to case it now. No. Oh, well. Okay. Well, we hit a sugar show. Anyway, okay, four left. Four left. How are we doing so far? I think we do. We do need another low number, or a good, really good. Uh, I keep saying it, but we do need a good kind of RPA or a few better. Okay, Gomez, there on the rookie card. Very promising fighter there. Okay, we got a Jake Hadley 212 rookie card there. I actually have um, a signed uh, Jake Hadley to 50 of his rookie card. Uh, there we go, Jasmine on the uh, midnight. And then we've got a, another Bruno uh, rookie card to 125. Okay, come on, let's heat up a little bit here. UFC Midnight. Jessica Andrade making a little bit of a comeback there. Okay, not too bad. Unnumbered though. Another Jasmine rookie card there. Very promising rookie. Wish it was numbered, but it's not. And then who's our patch? Yaya Rodriguez on the patch. Jake Hadley to 12. That's a, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a nice low number, at least. Three left. Three left. I feel like we could feel something. Feel something. Again, these these cases they can be so hit or miss, right? You go and you buy an individual one from the store, and one you hit uh, Diego Lopez and a Tatsuro, and then the other you hit, you know, just not great fighters. <laughs> it just kind of shows you. There we go, there's an after hours 
Tom Aspinall. I think that's relatively um, short print there. Okay, another Gomez, this time to 99. Uh, Jeremiah Hill on the one and only. And then um, a Yasmin, uh, rookie card to 125. We're getting a lot of Tom Aspinall in this in this pat in this uh, in this case. There's another Ryan Span, uh, this time non-numbered. Brenner, a rookie card. Come on, save us on the back here. There we go. He's good. Evolve to 99. Okay, still no, not the best. We got two left, guys. Two left. Guys and ladies, what do you guys think about the product? What do you think about the design? Me, I love it. They make him a little bit hard to open though, let's be honest. Kind of butchering the, this, this opening. You'll have to forgive me, you know. We are in box 11 and 12. <laughs> And I, I'd stream on WhatNote almost every night, so my poor fingers, they do a lot of breaks. They do a lot of breaks. Okay, 11. Let's see if we can lock out here. Uh, Luciano, rookie card base. Gilbert Burns to 99. Uh, there's a Malcolm Gordon rookie card to 75. Um, there's another Jessica Andrade Midnight. Let's heat up. Let's heat up. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Is there a, uh, no offense, of course, to Parker Porter, but is, is there a more ugly UFC fighter than Parker Porter? Probably not. Flyweight. The Tarantula, Jalen Turner, that's to 12. Happy about that. Oh my gosh, another Tom Aspinall. What did I just get the Tom Aspinall pack here? <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. All right, guys, last, last pack. We need a big card here to, get, to be saved. Otherwise, this or otherwise this case was a little bit of a skunk. And uh, you know, you guys can thank me for taking this one out of circulation, uh, so you got more chances to to hit some big cards here. Overall, though, like I said, I do love the Midnight product. They are selling out pretty quickly. They are pretty. They are relatively hard to find now. All right, here we go. Last pack. Johnny Parsons, rookie card. Justin Taffer, rookie card to 25. We got another Polar Bear to 125, and we got Iceman, uh, the one and only. Please. Please give us a good one. I don't see any super limited colorway. Another Tony Ferguson. Mm. Henry Cejudo. Not, not who we want. And unbelievable. Unbelievable. Our third Roman. Our third Roman, y'all. Well, we did pull some low numbers. I'm sure there's some super short prints there. Um, yeah, not the greatest case, to be honest. Love the product. I just don't think that the case that we got was very good. Um, you know, at least we got we got a sugar show. Unfortunately, non-numbered. Our lowest numbered was Orion Span. Uh, four out of five there. But we did hit at least my two favorite fighters and, you know, the, the rookie everybody wants, Diego Lopez. Tetsuro to 99. 
and a Raul Rosses Jr. on the midnight, uh, which is unnumbered. Please, as uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me, guys, uh, tell me, uh, guys, what you thought of the product. Right? I don't think that was a great case, um, to be honest. Uh, but I absolutely love the design. And um, yeah, um, drop a comment below, and uh, I will probably do some UFC giveaways uh, soon too. And please, if you haven't seen my um, my tops review that I did, where we ripped seventeen hobby boxes, pulled a super fractor. Uh, Tetsuro to 10 um, signature, uh, or Raul Rosses Jr. to 10 sig. Um, we got an Islam Akachev signature to 25. There's some really cool cards there. Um, but yeah, that's the Midnight Series, you guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. See you guys soon. Bye.